Herodotus Ancient Fan Fiction by Zach Copeland Green. History, Herodotus the Greek thought to himself. Or he would have done if he had thought in English. Herodotus was going to write a history. Rather, it was more of an, an inquiry because, well, that's what the Greek word historia meant. Well, naturally, Herodotus was thinking of the Greek word for the simple fact that he was Greek. Well, I mean, technically he was an Ionian Greek hailing from Halicarnassus on the west coast of Asia Minor, what we might call modern Turkey, but hey, that was Greek enough for Herodotus. Inquiry, Herodotus the Ionian Greek thought to himself in Greek, as he stood outside the gates of Halicarnassus, staring out across the plains. He was going to write his inquiries, a work to immortalise the great and marvellous deeds of humankind, just like the epic songs of old. He would include feats of battle, feats of construction, and even some remarkable features of nature. But he wasn't going to stop just with the feats of the Greeks, no, no, no. He thought back to the Halicarnassus of his youth, a city of Greek language and culture, but also a city of visitors from the east, who spoke in different accents and practiced new customs. Thinking back to this, Herodotus wanted to do something new and different. He wanted to celebrate both Greeks and foreigners alike. He had heard stories from merchants of strange beasts and great pyramids in a fascinating land called Egypt, of the shocking treacheries of the Lydian kings, and even of the remarkable invention in Babylon of a boat that could be taken apart and put on a donkey's back. Ah, oh, there was so much Rodotus wanted to see for himself. So many people he wanted to hear from and so much he wanted to write about. So, Herodotus decided he would tell the story of how the Greeks and non-Greeks came to meet, and later to fight, with perhaps a few other stops along the way. Yes, Herodotus was going to write a magnificent work that would rival the grandeur of the ancient poets. He might even coin a few poetic phrases himself. Call no man happy until he is dead, sounded particularly profound. Profundity, Herodotus the historian thought to himself, smiling smugly for a moment. Then he took a deep breath as he looked out across the plains outside Halicarnassus. He had a lot of research that he needed to do, and a lot of travelling to see and hear the evidence of great pyramids and foldable boats for himself. Writing his inquiries was beginning to sound like a lot of work, but maybe he could just go back home and make some of it up. <laughs>